Hello, beautiful people. Caitlin coming from you from Zone 9B in Central Florida. And today, dun, 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 I wanted to share with you guys this. It is my order that I just received from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. Now, I, I received this last week, middle of the week, but I wasn't able to do a video because of bartending and family stuff. So I'm just now getting around to opening the contents, going through it. And before I got too involved, I wanted to bring you guys into the experience. So I have cheated. I have looked at these, um, but I have not organized them. So it's going to be a surprise. You're not going to know it's coming because I don't. <laughs> so we have, here we go, contents. And let's delve into this. So starting off, we have Sugar Rush, Sugar Rush Peach Peppers. Um, this is an heirloom bred by Hot Pepper Prodigy Chris Fowler of Wales. It's a long peach colored fruit and they're packed with loads of super sweet tropical flavor and the seeds bring a smoky complex heat. Really excited about this. This year I'm gonna be doing a lot of canning. I'm gonna preserve my own food. I'm going to, hopefully this will be the first year will be completely sustainable and so far as our um, veggie and green production so far as everything in our diet except for meat that's what we that's our goal for being sustainable and growing that area of freedom in our lives got to get away from the big stores we got to get away from box chain we have to get away from that like and if we're going to bring freedom back to the level that we hope that it will be we have to start with us and so I'm just so excited that Baker Creek is giving people the ability to buy heirloom seeds making them a super affordable and super available and there are so many other seed companies that I buy from that I'm going to be exposing you guys to if you haven't already have the privilege and I'll be making videos on that too because I have stuff coming in this week and next week as well so after the sugar rich peach peppers we have pineapple tomatoes it's supposed to be sweet and fruity very prolific so I'm really excited about this one ooh zinnias look at that picture guys how beautiful is that wow so pretty so these are i think these are bred for high pr productivity so i'm really excited to be able to have those and all the flowers that i bought i bought for a particular reason so i can't remember the other ones i bought from them i think i bought a type of calendula but everything i'm growing is in order to help our native bee population, our pollinators. Um, and also I'm trying to grow my medicine cabinet. I have refused since I was about 12 or 13 to really use medication. I stopped using Advil because it used to make my heart race. So I've really gone to a more holistic and traditional medicinal approach for my well-being, whether that's essential oils or um, herbs, plants, that's, that kind of thing. Speaking of herbs, stevia. Phenomenal sweetener. I um, think you can buy it at almost any box store now. But when I was growing up, you could only buy it at like Abby's Health Food Store because that was a, that was a health food store closest to us. Um, they make it in a like a liquid form, which would be a distilled form, and then they also make it in a powdered form that dissolves into beverages. I got really turned off by that because I figured the chemical like the chemical compounds that go into that process can't be great for my body so I wanted a natural way to sweeten what I'm making and I don't really care if it dissolves or not I I care about it being sweet and it being safe so I'm going to be dehydrating this and powdering it just like I do my moringa so I'm really excited about this oh yeah speaking of calendula beautiful variety so medicinal and culinary guys we're thinking how to become free so that's what I focused on sunrise bumblebee tomatoes and I was also thinking how oh, beautiful 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 sweet fruity taste I'm so excited about these peppers Tobago seasoning for all of my Caribbean friends I got these for you we're going to have fun this year thousand head kale that has kale wrap written all over it it's my kind of kale wrap lasts for days y'all but no the the thought behind buying these is like why are you gonna go to the store to buy everything when you can grow it you can go outside get it fresh you don't have to be 
worry about preservatives, shelf life, you don't have to. It's right there, it's green, it's accessible. And then also, like, writing for your neighbors, like, I'm just saying, this year woke, woke me up in a way that I didn't know that I could become more woke. Dandelion, really excited about this. Medicinal and culinary. Okay, so excited about this. This is a tropical black carrot. This is phenomenal for juicing. It's very heat tolerant, so it's great for our summers. So excited about this. I have a really hard time with, with um, well, I have had in the past a hard time with carrots. This winter, I actually started carrots in November. And I was, I was thinking, we'll overwinter them. We'll see how they do. They have done phenomenally well. I wasn't expecting it, but they've done so well. So I'm really excited to see how I try my hand at that this year. We got some, okay, beautiful tomatoes. I bought so many colorful eye appeal or eye catching, um, description appealing tomatoes that I hope will be more artisan in nature, so that I can give a variety that we don't have it at grocery stores. Cause who, I mean, you go to a grocery store, you get red tomatoes. The just they don't taste like tomatoes anymore. Not when I was a kid. And it's really interesting that I find that I don't even eat citrus anymore that because it doesn't taste like it did when I was a kid. Like nothing tastes the same. So I'm getting back to growing all my own food because I'm not going to stop eating just because you guys can't grow stuff naturally. Jay's peach. Okay. So this is a super hot pepper. This is from Northern India. Let me read the description. So it's top notch for extreme hot sauce blends and powders or nuclear hot cooking recipes. The thin walled wrinkled fruit averaged three inches long and packs an astounding 1 million scoville heat units. Okay, I didn't know that when I bought it. <laughs> this is gonna be fun, hey dad. Our next pepper competition, this is all you. You might wanna get the ice cream ready, okay? Free seeds, okay, with Baker Creek, they are so, they are so sweet and they do such good business. They always include a, like a free item that they want you to try. And I guess this go around was Paris Island lettuce for me. So thank you so much, Baker Creek. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful pictures. Toothache plant. Get, this is your pharmacy starts with F. F A R M A C Y. Pharmacy starts with F. Pharmacy starts on the farm. We are doing this. Toothache plant. I don't know if you all have ever tried toothache plant. This works. It will numb your entire mouth, your lips, whatever it comes in contact to with saliva, it will numb. This is phenomenal teething babies. I'm not a doctor. I'm not telling you how to use it. I'm just telling you that it works. Okay. So I've used this mouth sores, canker sores. Um, I have had a uh, tooth sensitivity since having kids. This helps. Um, mine just happened to freeze. So that's Thank you, Baker Creek, for that. Tatsoi. This is how I feel about Tatsoi. It's really that delicious, and everyone should have it. And this is also heat and cold tolerant. Lemon bee balm for the bees, obviously, for teas and for cuttings. Um, the flowers are beautiful. They really, look, they really make a space look really loved. I, I love that about bee balm. And it's really prolific. So. Excited about that. Okra? Jing orange okra. I'm really excited about this. All the okras are going in. I think I got three or four varieties. Last year I did Clemson spineless for the first time myself. Had phenomenal results. I don't know why everyone doesn't grow okra in Florida. It's delicious. It's phenomenal. And then it's phenomenal for your gut health. The raw okra, phenomenal for your gut health. So everyone should be eating it. Orange pepper course because we are pepperholics stuff them slice them saute them they're good texas early onion it would be my first time ever growing onions from seeds we're gonna see how this goes i don't know i'm reading the back of the package like when can i put these in i'm really excited and they're sweet. I'm like an onionaholic. I, if I had like 50 acres, I would designate at least 25 for different types of onions. All right, calendula, snow princess calendula. I have, I'm so excited about this. I fell in love with the picture. I'm not gonna lie, but I love calendula. 
um, for a tease. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited. They're just so beautiful. I think this just might be a cut flower for me, but the bees will love it. Mexican sour gherkin. Bought this for the little kids. They love it. So cool. Okay, Mongolian giant sunflower. Look at that picture. So happy. I'm going to be that happy when they grow. I'm excited about this. Chim Chi Jimmy Sai, I think is how you say this. Okay, I got this green. It's phenomenally, it's got phenomenal res reviews. All of my friends who are used to growing Asian green said this is a phenomenal choice um, because it can grow year round in most grow zones. So where we are, I'm really excited to see how the flavor, I got it now because I was hoping to grow it from our, well, we don't really have a spring, but our after frost summer. I want to see how the taste changes from summer to winter. So that's why I got this. I'm really excited. It's supposed to be heat and cold tolerant. We'll see how it does here in zone 9B. We got some cayennes coming in hot and heavy. Excited about these. <gasps> Mitsuna. Okay, I tried to buy this last year. They were sold out. Here's the Mitsuna early. So excited about this. And then I got another type of Mitsuna. I don't know if it'll come up anytime soon. <gasps> Green Kalalu. Okay, this is a Caribbean green. It's an amaranth, and it's supposed to be a great spinach substitute during the summers. So I'm really excited about this because in Florida, I grew, um, uh-oh. A little bee was stuck in under the seed packets that I set down. I think he's still stuck. Uh oh, be emergency, guys. Be right back. Okay, got them out. We got banana peppers. Every kitchen should have banana peppers at all times. I also want to get into pickling this year. So if any of you guys are expert at picklings or could send me some videos on how to do that that I haven't already seen, I would really appreciate it. I love pickling. I love eating pickled. I love eating pickled anything. So I've never done. I've never made my own pickled okra, but I want to do that. And I love pickled red onions. I make those. Those are great. But I want to get it. I want to branch out. Like I want to do pickled peppers. I want to do all that fun stuff, you know. Okay. This is. Yeah. Nero de Toscana kale. I think this is also called dinosaur kale. If it is, I grew it this year. It was phenomenal. And I wanted to try again. All the weird critters on me right now. So I'm really excited to see how this fares starting now instead of the last time I planted it was November, did really super well. So we'll see how it fares in our spring. I don't really have a spring. All right, African basil. I think it's pronounced, it's either nanum or nunum. I don't know, I took Swahili for two semesters, but it wasn't enough, clearly I forgot. But it thrives in heat, so I'm really excited about this. See how it does. I'm a pesto fanatic. It's going to be my ticket to pesto galore. I had to buy this because I had to support the artist who took this picture. Rattle, everyone's had a Georgia rattlesnake watermelon. Um, if you haven't, they're phenomenal. They're large. They're delicious. But this picture, I am going to frame. I love this picture. It makes me so happy. And I really think it embodies the dirty south. Like being from Florida... When I think of Central Florida, this is what I think of. Like, I'm almost about to cry. I love this photograph, whoever took it, thank you so much. This means a lot to me. If a picture could paint a thousand words, that is legitimately how I feel getting to grow food. So thank you, I really appreciate that. I'm getting all emotional. Galilee spinach, really excited about that. Moving on down. Do, do, do. All right. We got some Okinawa. I told you I got the okra goods, man. Okinawa pink okra. So excited to see the blooms on this. So excited to taste this. So excited to include this in our summer garden. So excited. It's like, so excited. California cow peas. 
black eyed peas everybody has them everybody should have them this is a southern staple I'm excited to see how they do here I've never actually grown my own so we'll see I just cook with them every day it seems like mini bell peppers assortments and again I went with a lot of um, artisan varieties colors and assortments for you guys because I enjoy colorful food and I feel like we've been really limited by what we have access to because of big box stores. They sell whatever they can shelf the longest, whatever they can ship the furthest. It's never about you or about what is best nutritionally. It's about profits. And I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. Pineapple squash. I've never seen this. I've never look how beautiful that is okay tell me you don't want that at thanksgiving i am stoked about this i want this now but i was really hoping this is this you they say that it's great pickled as a summer squash or you can have it as a mature winter squash i am daydreaming of things to make in october november and december with this i it's art it's art man okay Alabama red okra. Beautiful okra blend that I'm really excited about as well. Mr. Roy and Mr. Rob and Mr. Miss Roy. Rob Pusey. David Wanter. Okay. For you gentlemen. My Jamaican brothers. This for you though. I know you guys are part Irish, don't play like you're not, okay? I got this for you. If you're making scotch bonnet peppers, we're gonna make these bad boys grow. Roy and Rob and David. It's gonna be fun. Yellow monster peppers. Cucumbers. They're a Japan variety. They're supposed to be like the sweetest cucumbers, so I'm excited about those. I'm gonna have some fun, some culinary fun with them. Got some purple hull, pink eyed cow peas. Look at that picture. How beautiful. We got some datil. I think that's how you pronounce it. Peppers. These are supposed to be blazing hot, vicious heat, complex, fruity flavors. I'm hoping that it's going to be awesome for salsa. We'll see how it goes. You know, we'll see how it goes. Villaggio di Verona. This is an heirloom cabbage from northern Italy. I'm really excited about this. It's just a pretty picture. I'm just holding it there so you can look at it. This prefers cool weather, so we'll probably start these in fall. I probably won't venture to grow these in the summer. Judging by the contents of this packet, I might start some, see if they can see if they can do anything here in our in our spring. Got some purple beans. These are supposed to be able to grow vigorous, long. They're supposed to be able to, like they're supposed to be productive even through the heat of summer. So we'll see how that goes. Green giant maidens. Green giant maidens. Here's, everybody wants fried green tomatoes, okay? Once you start feeling that warm weather, it's like, oh, it's fried green tomato and grits time. If you don't know about that, come over. I'll make you some. All right. We have some Chinese multicolored spinach. It is an amaranth again, but it's supposed to do great through summer. I'm trying to get green production through summer to, to help you guys supplement at the grocery stores. I am so sick of eating hydroponic lettuce. This is my little excerpt. I'm so sick of it. It's disgusting. It doesn't have any flavor. And most of the time, it tastes like they sprayed it with, like, bleach or wax or something. I just don't like it. I haven't had... I won't. I will not buy lettuce from the store because it doesn't taste right. Even the organic lettuce, I think probably because it's in plastic containers, something changed in my mouth. And I, I just... It's just not the same. Especially after growing my own greens for two seasons now. It's like you taste a fresh... Like, you taste a fresh green. It actually has contrast depth complexity and then you eat like lettuce from a store and you're like what what am i eating it's like green cardboard or something i don't know chinese red noodle bean 
so excited about this. I'm so excited. Okay, so I was first exposed to Chinese red noodle beans, the yard long noodle beans and everything from a YouTuber named Jess from Roots and Refuge Farm. And I'm sure everybody knows who Jess is. She's wildly successful. She's fun to watch, but I I saw those in one of her gardens. I don't know if it was last year or the year before, but I was like, I gotta grow that. That looks so much fun. Okay, Zulu peppers, look at that. Oh my gosh, the antioxidants have to be out of this world. This is actually a Polish variety and it's supposed to be crisp and sweet. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, black nebula carrots. And these are supposed to be great. Th this is the darkest car carrot available. Um, and it's, it says that it's delicious raw cooked or juiced, so excited about that because I am a big juicer. Tabasco peppers because we are going to make our own. It can't be that hard. If they've been doing it since the beginning of time, it can't be that hard. Okay, so again with beautiful food, we have, I can't pronounce it. Vernissage. It's a Ukraine variety, but these these are I got these for um, you know farmers markets, road stands, and stuff like that. It's just a beautiful variety. I think that it's just it looks like art. Who doesn't want to eat art? I do. Chinese pink celery. Look at that. That's so cool. Bubblegum pink. That's what we want. All right, nasturtium my garden buddies. This is going to be a staple in my garden from now on. I read about all of the benefits of nasturtium and companion planting and I had to have some. So here these are. <gasps> that Mitsuna I was talking about. Look, pink variety. I'm so excited. I crave Mitsuna. I don't know if you people, like if, if you or people you know have cravings for different like greens, I crave Mitsuna and raw fish, but that's, that's a different, that's totally different sushi strawberry spinach i was really excited about this this is an old-fashioned plant and it dates back to the 1600s in europe the description reads on saying produces greens used like spinach also yields attractive red berries that are nice in fruit salads so this harvest in summer to early fall so i'm really excited to see how it does here in florida it's a titan sunflower because you can never have too many sunflowers for those of you who don't know Sunflowers are phenomenal at absorbing EMFs, radiation. This is what you need around your house, windows, whatever. If you wanted to grow something beautiful and fun, sunflowers. Lemon cuke, cucumber. This was introduced in, in 1894. I read about this and I was really excited about it. It's um, The flavor is supposed to be sweet and mild, but I got it because it was fun, more artisan, and I'd never seen it before, so I wanted to try it. Moving right along. I told you guys I went crazy on this order. I was so excited for everything they had available. Uzbek gold carrot. So this is a sunny yellow carrot. It's from Uzbekistan. I, wanna, I hope I pronounced that right. It's popular across Central Asia. It is a big broad trap root. It's easy to grow in a range of soils. And it's, per, it's perfect for traditional Uzbek pilaf. Which I don't eat pilaf, but... I might and this is better for cooling weather so I might start this later or try my hand at it we still have about a month until our last frost date as project as projected by um, Palmer's Almanac but we'll see I normally don't direct so or seed until um, March 1st through the 7th for like anything that's gonna be through summer so I'm kind of cutting it close. I don't know that I want to play with that, but we'll see. They said we we're going to have a mild winter, and we've had a long, drawn-out, well, it seems like it for me, winter. So we have walking stick kale. I'm so excited. I just want to see how tall it'll grow in my soil. But that looks so much fun. What is that, like a 13? That looks like it's about a 13-foot ladder. So that's 
easily over 15 feet. That's my that's that's my kind of kill. I'm excited about that. Succotash. Cause this is a dirty south, y'all. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta. And that's another thing too is I I've been having dreams lately about preserving. Like we don't preserve anything. Living in Central Florida, like we have just huge, huge development, hundreds of thousands of millions of houses going up. And I'm not exaggerating. Like the entire strip of Central Florida and then the coast are just being built and built and developed. And you know that's how people make a living. I don't, I don't. I don't begrudge them for that, but there's, there's something beautiful about preserving that I feel like we've kind of lost. Everything's like an instant grat thing and preservation is a very necessary tool for survival. It's not a short term thing. It's a long term thing. So I'm really excited because seeds are a way to preserve history. I just, it's an art that's I don't know that it's been lost but it has been stunted drastically thanks to agro production and people going out of their minds with producing one crop you know and capitalizing on it beets beets because everybody needs more beets beets you see what I did there okay <laughs> beets beets green they're great for salad greens during the summer What's, have you ever had a bad beat? Don't answer that. I know, I know that you have, because I have. Bumble. These are green beans. These are also um, uh, Kenya. These are from Kenya. I'm really excited about this. Like I said before, we have really great productivity from trees that I've gotten from um, Africa and Asia, kind of same climate um, weather-wise. So like Moringa is one of the favorites that we grow. And so I'm really excited to see how these fare in our weather. Got some black goji berry. Because who doesn't want a dehydrated goji berry in their smoothie or salad or something? I'm excited about them. I already grow red goji berries and they're delicious. So we'll see how those fare. Coming to the end of our the end of our hole, we have a gastache. Rose mint. So this is supposed to be like a minty rose fragrance. Lavender and rose color blooms. And it's supposed to thrive in poor soil. And if you've ever farmed in Florida or gardened in Florida, you know that starting out, you're always going to have a sugar sand. When I was growing up, I was always taught that you can't grow anything in Florida. Our soil is horrible, this, that, whatever. But after sitting here and observing for a while, actually, there's very little that doesn't grow in our soil. It's not necessarily our soil that's poor. It's the education on how to grow here. So really excited to share what I'm observing and learning with everyone who has the time to watch videos that are 30 minutes long. We have some new mustards, Japanese giant reds, sunflower, hoppy black dye. I'm excited about this because I've started doing like lip balms and stuff myself and I've been using different different sources like roselle blooms and stuff like that so I'm really excited to see what I can do with this so far as dyeing and preserving and just growing beautiful things. Echinacea. Here we go. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So echinacea, as you all know, is medicinal. It's ornamental. It's everything you can use it for, but medicinal is most important. It's a huge immune booster. So we're going to use that. And the last, but certainly not least too, we have some painted mountain corn. Really excited about this. And then we have fever few. Look at that picture. Doesn't it make you, doesn't it make you just want to, you know? So beautiful. Tolerates drought and it'll self sow, which is what we like here. So that is my haul from Baker Creek. Thank you, Baker Creek, for providing awesome heirloom seeds. Thank you all for hanging out with me for half an hour. I know that time is precious, so I really want to say thank you for spending your time with me. And I hope to share more of my finds and buys and tips and tricks here in the future. And here's to a great 2021. It's going to be awesome.